Safeguards announced for frisk searches on public transport, including a rule that only a female officer can search another female. Also revealed in Parliament today, a compulsory theory test for electric bike riders will be kept affordable. This as new laws were passed under the Road Traffic Act today. Deborah Wong with more. Amid the threat of terrorism, police officers and authorised persons will soon be allowed to carry out security searches on people on the public transport system. But MPs had some concerns. Ms Sylvia Lim asked if auxiliary police, security officers and outsource enforcement officers are suitable for the task, as well as the kind of training they'll get. While Ms Joan Pereira also raised the possibility of imposters. All authorised officers have to be in uniform when conducting fist searches. In addition, security searches will be conducted within the video surveillance coverage to provide assurance to the public that any alleged abuses will be investigated accordingly. To safeguard the modesty of a female person and to ensure fist searches are conducted professionally, only authorised female officers could conduct fist searches on a female person. We also have the powers to enforce against imposters. Dr. Kaur added that such officers must complete required courses before they're deployed. They'll be trained to focus only on telltale indicators and suspicious behaviour during operations. Around 13 MPs also spoke about the new requirement for power-assisted bicycle users to take a theory test before they can ride on roads. Some said it could be onerous, as many PAB users are self-employed riders for food delivery services. Mr Desmond Chu asked for time for these riders to comply, another worried about the cost of the test. How affordable will it be for people who really depend on the PABs for their livelihood? We will keep test fees affordable to minimise the financial impact on riders, especially those who ride for their livelihoods. For the first three months, the test will be chargeable at $5 for two attempts. This is a discounted rate to encourage greater test pickup. Subsequently, the test will be chargeable at $10 for each attempt. The test will be conducted online in the four official languages. Dr. Kaur added that a transition time will be given before the test requirement kicks in. Authorities will work with the labour movement and food delivery companies to ensure riders get certified. Other changes to make Singapore's roads safer include stiffer penalties for illegal racing, wearing unapproved motorcycle helmets, as well as a tougher stance on road rage.